Y'all heard the latest about DJ Academics. Now he was uh, calling himself being a snitch, you know, telling on other rappers and other people that's in the game, you know. He said if he go down, everybody is going down. And why did he say that? Because now he is accused of the R word. Yeah, somebody that, um, her name is, um, Basia Akabar. Uh, I think that's the name. But she said that he sent for her, uh, Uber for her from where she lived to come to his house. She said she got there thinking it was just going to be them two, but it was also two other people there, friend one and friend two. She said friend one got touchy feely and was, you know, being very aggressive. All of a sudden, he threw her in the pool, and he did it. Now, she didn't come to see friend one. She came to see DJ Academics, but that happened. She said the reason that it happened is because they was just feeding her, feeding her, feeding her alcohol. And maybe some other substance because she couldn't remember nothing. And so, after that, she finally fought her way out of the pool uh, after friend one got through. And guess what else happened? Then when she got on the deck at DJ Academic's house, then him and friend two proceeded to do what they do. She said she remember waking up the next morning about four o'clock and she was in the bed with DJ Academic's. And then he proceeds to keep on doing it very aggressively. She said that she didn't remember anything until this fool, DJ Academics, shows her his surveillance camera and showed her what happened. She said she got this odd feeling after uh, seeing it because to her, she was not, you know, she was laying there lifeless. So, of course, she wouldn't remember it if she sees herself laying there lifeless. She said, it just didn't sit well, uh, sit well with her. So, when she left, she headed straight to the precincts. When she got to the precincts, they proceeded to take a uh, eight kit and uh, take pictures of the bruises that was on her neck, her orb, and her back. Now, to have bruises, you know that it had to be some really rough things that happened to this girl. So, not only is Diddy in trouble, now DJ Ac uh, uh, Academics has got those same charges. But, as I stated, he said he wasn't going down by himself. He already been trying to out people and tell people, but look, the tables turned and came right back to him. So now, he has charges. And, um, so, she is suing him, just like Cassie did Diddy. Now it's DJ Academics time. What is wrong with these fools? Cat Williams right. It's, this is the year of exposing these stupid fools. And they coming out and getting exposed one by one. But that's just exactly what they deserve because if a woman is not willing to have ex with you then why would you force yourself on not only you dj academics you let your friends join in you are a piece of shit and i hope that Faisha akabar i hope i think that's her name Faisha Ak akabar get everything that she deserves because you are a clown you're a clown and exposing, trying to expose somebody else got you exposed. Yeah, guys. So that's what's happened with DJ Academics. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and become part of my channel. I would love to have you. Give me a thumbs up so my video can get out there to others and I can make it back too. And drop down in the comment section and tell me what is your thoughts on DJ Academics trying to expose others and it boomerang back to him and then he gets exposed for the same thing you know that he was trying to do to others and yeah you're going down
And I don't know if you're going to be able to take anybody with you, as you stated. And that's exactly what you deserve, DJ Academics. You're a piece of shit.